and welcome to the We Miss the Exit Canadian Grand Prix Preview. If you missed the Azerbaijan review, sorry about that, we're having issues with it um, recording. Um, but brief summary, Verstappen won, Perez got second, and Ferrari engines just crapped out. Uh, before we get into the Canadian Grand Prix Preview, uh, the race news. Uh, F1 is considering rule change over porpoising complaints. Um, there are several teams struggling with porpoising, uh, Mercedes being the most obvious one. I'm going back and forth uh, with my feelings on this. I don't obviously don't want any drivers to get hurt or injured or have any long-term effects. Um, definitely feel bad for them and definitely putting their bodies through uh, more than they really should or have to, uh, should have to or are used to, um, which obviously isn't great. Um, but this also, um, there's also issues with this as far as um, looking at the other teams. Red Bull hasn't really had a whole lot of issues with porpoising. Uh, Ferrari did, but they've worked hard to um, minimize those effects, the effects of porpoising. So I think any real changes that um, the FIA make could um, give advantages to teams who um, haven't really worked as hard to alleviate the porpoising. Uh, Mercedes, most people believe that if they just raise the height of the car a little bit, they're going to lose speed, but it should get rid of uh, most of the issues. And if they're not willing to do that, um, not willing to at least try that, then I don't think it's fair for everyone, uh, the other teams, to uh, suffer if they're not willing to do what they can, even if it's uh, compromising speed. That's just the way it goes. The other teams did a great job developing their cars and something they're going to have to live with for the season. Um, Piastri is linked to join Williams, uh, hopefully replacing Latifi, obviously. Um, Albon's seat isn't intact, but he's the only one that's gotten points for them. I don't think Latifi's even been in the top 10 at all this season at any point. So um, I know he's the money of the team, or the money, the money driver, but, you know, he's caused so many problems he's not good uh this is the place for him to start uh obviously getting him on alpine is important but uh i think getting him started at williams may be a better idea uh, at least at this point in time and then uh gasly has been confirmed more or less for the to return to alpha um I'm not sure if that's a good move for him or not but you know that uh, at least he has a place. He's a great driver. Uh, always been a fan of Gasly. Uh, I'd like to see him race um, on Red Bull again next year. But, you know, things could change. Um, I'm kind of concerned of why he would want to stay there. He's, you know, he's he's not going to get a seat on Red Bull, I don't think, anytime soon. And so I'm surprised he's not looking to go somewhere else at this point in time. Um... And uh, there was more race news, but these are the main ones I wanted to get in there. All right, uh, so let's get right into our preview of the Canadian Grand Prix. Preview, Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, again, uh, I've been there when it's raining. Not a whole lot of fun when it's raining, but it's, uh, again, one of my favorite races just due to having actually been there and experienced it in person. All right, so uh, Circuit Julia, Julius Villeneuve. Um, the grid is Max Verstappen is going to be P1, and then returning to the front row after 10 years, Fernando Alonso in his Alpine. Uh, I said it last week, Alpine is uh, looked fast in Azerbaijan, and um, I think they are going to, um, I think they're going to have a good car for the rest of the season. I'm hoping that they uh, really, you know, push Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari to to work hard um, and then we have signs starting third uh, third uh, Hamilton's fourth Magnuson fifth Schumacher sixth Akon seventh Russell eighth Ricardo ninth and Joe tenth uh, the Haases five and six did not expect that um, but great for them uh, Schumacher's had a great weekend or Schumacher had a great qualifying uh, he did a great job uh, got a little bit of help to get to Q3, but um, I think um, a lot of the racers underneath 
Pippa Hamilton did, uh, get some help to uh, get to P uh, Q3, um, including uh, Perez crashing and not getting out of Q2, and Leclerc uh, not even setting a time, Norris not even setting a time in Q2, uh, definitely helped um, some of the drivers get in there. Uh, Russell went out on slicks for some reason, says he doesn't regret it. Um, that's kind of foolish. He spun out on turn two. Um, probably could have done a better time, but he's going to have to stop, start behind Akon, probably get ahead of him, but then he's going to be stuck behind both Hasses, and he's going to be behind Hamilton. And there's, I don't think there's any real way that Mercedes is going to tell Hamilton to move out of the way of Russell if Russell's able to get up there. Um, but Joe, it's good to see him uh, Q10. Uh, sorry, P10. Um, Botas had issues again. Um, and Joe, after having a couple of heartbreaking races, it's great to see him uh, up there. A um, couple notes here. Uh, obviously, uh, I kind of alluded to it before, but it, it was a wet qualifying. Um, start off really wet. Uh, a little bit surprised they started. I let them out there with it being so wet, but they did, and it dried off. And by Q3, there were a couple dry lines, at least throughout most of the track. Uh, Aston Martin and AlphaTauri did not get out of Q1. Um, the AlphaTauri, don't know what happened there, but the real surprise was really Vettel, who in uh, FP3, which I know isn't a huge, um, it's not really worth anything when it comes to qualifying, but he had a great FP3. And. Um, Really surprised he didn't make it out of Q3, um, especially since uh, I, was, I was just surprised it was a little wet at Q3 and or FP3 and thought he would have done better. Um, and then uh, let's get into my predictions. So Canadian Grand Prix predictions. I think Verstappen goes from uh, P1 to or from pole to, um, to number one P1. Um, I think he gets the win here. I think Sainz is going to end up in second. Uh, Hamilton is going to be on the podium. He's going to get third. Alonso fourth, um, as fast as that car is, um, and as good of a driver as Alonso is. Um, I just don't see him being able to, to hold up there, but it'd be great to see. Uh, he, he's held Hamilton back before. Um, hopefully he can do it again, but I don't think he's going to be able to. I'm going to, I have uh, Alonso fourth, uh, Perez, I think makes his way through the pack ends up in fifth Leclerc, I think, and makes his way through the pack ends up in sixth, um, Magnuson and Schumacher, uh, I have seven and eight Norris, I think is going to end up in ninth and Botas, I have at 10th, uh, pretty kind, kind of all over the place here. Um, didn't really know what to do. Uh, never count out Vettel. Um, I had him in there for a little bit and, um, after the qualifying that he had, I, I just couldn't keep him in there, but it wouldn't surprise me if Vettel ends up in the uh, top 10 here. Um, again, not putting Russell in there. Um, you know, his luck has to end sometime, and, you know, it could be the Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, looking at my fantasy team, it could be why I'm a little biased for some of the drivers here. Um, I do have Norris, uh, Vettel, Leclerc. Schumacher, um, Signs, and I have the McLaren team. Um, Signs I picked up uh, after losing Verstappen for uh, I only had him for five races. Got him, his fifth race was last race. Um, as much as I want him to do well um, and think he will do well, it, it'd be great for my fantasy team if I could uh, pick him up pretty cheap next week. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so I, yeah, again, I did, I had signed, I added signs to my team and I'm feeling pretty good, especially with him starting second. Uh, again, this is the, we missed the exit, uh, Canadian Grand Prix preview. Uh, we'll get to the review, obviously after the race, uh, after I have a chance to watch it tomorrow is father's day. So, uh, probably it'll be a couple days before we get to the race and then we'll do a preview show before we get to the next race, which I forgot to put into the uh, into my notes. So sorry about that. Uh, next race, let me look it up real quick. Uh, I th think it was England, but let me check. Uh, let's see, we're in Canada. Great Britain is next. Um, so that is July 3rd. Uh, so we have a two week break and then they're in Britain. Um, followed by Aust Austria after that, a week after that. So um, 
we'll do the Great Britain, uh, we'll do the Canadian Grand Prix review uh, sometime uh, by next weekend, and then we'll do the preview once we qualifying's over. Again, thanks for watching the We Missed the Exit Show, F1, uh, Canadian F1 preview, and have a great day.